Three, two, one. And we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the live stream. Uh, this is going to be uh, day 19 of Elden Ring. Of our, what was intended to be a blind playthrough is, I guess, what you could call semi-blind, since I've had to look up several things. <clears throat> um, let's see. So, <laughs> we left off over here. <clears throat> I uh, may get back into my... Uh... So, um, I did uh, make a few adjustments. <clears throat> so, I'm at level 132. I will be stopping at 150. So, depending on where we are uh, by the end of the game, or, or as we... Like, if we get to 150 and we're still not done with the game... That's a stopping point. That's what's been recommended. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I've got about 18 more points to deal with. Now, I have made some changes. I dropped my faith uh, back down to 15 because um, while running 25 faith is actually pretty good for, <clears throat> I would say, so the build that I was running uh runs very well for doing like Kaled uh Lernia this area and then the Altus Plateau I guess or is this Altus Plateau I don't know um but <clears throat> as you get into this area the game difficulty uh steps it up quite a quite a notch and I was noticing that my damage <clears throat> versus uh, what I was seeing from uh, fighting Cowboys damage. Uh, although our build isn't exactly the same, uh, it is a quality build and we're using the same weapon. I was noticing that his damage output was quite a bit more. Obviously, you know, he knows more about the game than I do. It's my first playthrough. Um, and I was, you know, because I did have uh, 25 faith <clears throat> and I also had a bunch of points into mind uh, that was points that were you know, not being put into strength and dex. So I decided to do a test. I backed up my save. I dumped a respect. I dumped the faith. I dumped it in mind. I pumped up the strength and dex. And that put me at right on par with damage uh, that that Fighting Cowboy was putting out uh, in his playthrough. Uh, I really couldn't watch. Uh, I could only watch certain parts because, um, you know, to keep to the blind you know, not have any spoilers. I can only watch uh, sections that I've actually played. Um, and I noticed that my damage was now very much on par uh, with where where he was at. And to a certain extent, uh, mine, I could actually put out a little bit more uh, because I was stacking the Jellyfish Shield buff along with the um, uh, Flame Gimme Strength buff. But just in the general, it's, it's uh, very close, very much on par. So what that tells me is, is from software does not want uh, people necessarily uh, doing hybrid builds, and and uh, that's always been a bit of a problem for me because, um, you know, in, in the every game that I've played, I've always tried to make a hybrid build, and because of the way the point system works, it, uh, I mean, obviously you could do it, but if you do, then you get way outside the scope of what would be within the general margin of staying within the meta. <clears throat> and true, if you're not going to do PvP, maybe you're not going to do co-op, then it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to do a hybrid build and you wanted to stay within that meta, it's just not possible. I have yet to play a Souls game that allows for that. Um, and I've played all of them except for Dark Souls 2. So, um, yeah, I, I, I just, I mean... Of course, this is only my first playthrough. I, I, you know, once I'm done and I make my my mule character that I can use for testing, I'll know a little bit more. But based on just this character alone and what I've tested, it just doesn't seem like it's possible to be able to do a hybrid build character and stay within the meta, which is unfortunate. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's a it's a bit frustrating because it's not. The way I look at it, it's not that, oh, like, I want to be able to have as much damage output as, as a pure 
dex fighter or pure strength fighter and have as much damage as a pure faith fighter or arcane or sorcerer or whatever. That's not really a, what a hybrid build is. A hybrid build basically a lot is supposed, you know, the way it's supposed to work is allow you to be able to output damage, but you will not output the damage, the same amount of damage as somebody who specializes. Uh, you would have to knock your damage down by, uh, I mean, if you're doing hybrid, I think that if you have a specialization, you know, and that person puts out 100% damage, I feel that a hybrid build, depending on the build itself, should be able to put out, you know, maybe 75% damage on, because, uh, you know, generally hybrids are going to be still going to have more of a focus one way or the other. They're not going to be a 50-50. So like, for, for example, for me, I wanted to do kind of a hybrid build where it's 25% faith and 75% dex and output, you know, the damage uh, from both and, and stack the damage from the buffs. And uh, like if I go in buffed, I can actually put out the same amount of damage or more than what I was seeing from like uh, Fighting Cowboys pure dex build. The problem though is you run out of, uh, how should I say, your buffs don't last and once your buffs run out, now your, your damage is severely gimped. Whereas if you just go, you know, specialized, your damage is always consistent and you never have to worry about it, you know, being gimped. Um, and then you're also having to manage it with all the potions, the FP potions, um, and doing all the casting and switching back and forth. It, it becomes more of a chore and you're not really getting that much more damage. Now you can get some good burst damage. I don't want to say you can't, but I kind of feel like if I'm going to be doing that, I probably only want to be doing it for like, you know, bosses. So like if I come to a boss, you know, I could maybe like you know, buff up. So for example, right now, and I may switch this, I'm running both the strength and dex here. I've actually dropped uh, this thing here, which even with with, uh, with, with that not running, um, I'm actually, you know, uh, fine. In fact, I don't know if I can drop this. Oh, it looks like I can. So I might actually drop that. Because, uh, the sooner that I can get away from this, the better because um, I take that extra damage and it's like, I believe it's like 15% extra damage. So if I get rid of that and I just go ahead and, you know, put this on, which I definitely want to use, um, I'd, I'd need to, I need to compensate for my endurance. Although right now I seem to somehow be making the endurance, but I would need to go ahead and start putting points into endurance. Um, and, uh, don't remember if that affected my health or not. Yes, it does. Okay. So, yeah. So what I probably will do is, um, since I'm not going to be taking as much damage, I've got about 18 more points. So I'll probably get my vigor up to 60, uh, get my endurance up to, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do, but. As far as like strength and dex, uh, those are pretty good. Another thing I discovered because I was doing all my testing, I thought that these, uh, let me go into my inventory here. So in order to respec, you need these things, uh, the, these, uh, larva tears. I thought these were farmable because I had heard that they were. Um, so there's a lot of misinformation in regards to the way these, excuse me, the way these work. So I've got three left. I'm already at the end game. I should be okay. They do give you plenty throughout the game, but these are not farmable. Uh, I don't know how many are in the game. Uh, I think I heard it's either 15 or 18. But if you respect too much, and I've respect several times. I don't know how many times I've respect, but if I were to guess, I've probably respect, you know, six to eight times. So I've probably used about half. And there's some I still haven't picked up yet. And I still have three. Um, so you don't have unlimited respects as I actually, th uh, originally thought. Um, so that's an important detail. Now it's not that big of a deal because once this character is done, that's it. I probably won't play it again, except for maybe, you know, transferring items, or maybe if I want to do a test or something, I'll be making a new character. But 
um, that was something that I, you know, was wrong about. And if you are respecking all the time as a blind playthrough, you could end up screwing yourself out of being able to, to respect because I may need to respect again. Uh, for right now, I think for the rest of the show, I'll probably, you know, continue as is. I've got 18 more points. 10 of them are going into vigor. So that leaves me with eight. Uh, I definitely probably want to put in some more in endurance because I'm probably going to be, you know, going with like a heavier armor for like in game. Um, I don't, I don't think there's too much else. Um, I think if I were to put more in endurance, I'd probably put five. So that would mean I have three points to mess with as far as maybe putting into strength and dex. So, uh, maybe one point in strength and two in dex, something like that. I don't know. Um, I thought about putting more into mind. I may. Um, so <clears throat> now I uh, get that out of the way. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about is I had gotten this, uh, jellyfish shield a while back. Never really used it, but it does have an ability on it as I was going through my items. And what's really cool is um, if I cast its special skill, it uses 9 FP and for 30 seconds, it boosts my damage by 20%. And But you have to stay one-handed. You cannot go two-handed as soon as you do, it drops off the buff. But what's interesting is when I was testing the damage, uh, the damage is on par actually i believe it was more than uh than if i were going two-handed unbuffed so i was like oh okay actually let me go try it real quick if i remember right so i'll go uh we'll come back here in just a second i just want to kind of demonstrate this Let me reset this. So I want to show uh, two-handed damage. Okay. Actually, I guess I didn't need to do that. All I had to do is go... Uh... Actually, let me do this. Let me go one-handed. And I'm going to attack this thing. And uh, I'm going to do a jump attack. I did a lot of testing on these guys. So it's... Uh... 1,005. So now I'm going to do a two-handed. So 1139. Now I'm going to do one-handed buff. And it beats out the two-handed. And I also get, um, you know, a shield to use. And it, it the weight is pretty good. Although this shield, I, I from what I read in the description, doesn't work for piercing. So... Yeah, so this this is pretty good, and here's what's really cool. So I can stack a buff, um, and I decided to do the flame grant me strength, which is why I did go ahead and end up keeping 15 faith instead of just dropping it to uh, 12. I need to first cast flame grant me strength which you know lasts for 30 seconds switch to my shield buff with the shield stay one-handed and now my damage goes way high 1447 so i love how they uh, beat your attacks So, the damage output is significantly increased because when I did a one-handed unbuffed, it's like 1105 or uh, 1005, and then when I go two-handed, it's uh, like 11, almost 1150, and then when I go one-handed jellyfish buffed, it's uh, just a little over 1200, and then when I do flame grant me strength and jellyfish buff one-handed, it's uh, almost 1450. So very good build setup uh as far as output of damage and i no longer need the you know 25 points into faith in order to get that although it is a short buff it only lasts 30 seconds but 
for doing like tough enemies like that or maybe even a boss if you have time to even buff because a lot of times you don't have time to buff on a boss fight um yeah that's just not going to work um another thing i could do and i don't know if i'm going to do this there is a uh, flask or a crystal if i wanted to drop one of my either my decks or, or strength i could probably drop the strength i can put in the faith uh the faith crystal and that boosts my faith by 10 putting me at 25 at which point i could go back to using golden vow if i so choose and that would also give me i could use that uh and all the buffs so if i wanted to go into a boss fight i could you know swap that flask and get all the buffs and go in just as i did before uh but without uh gimping my uh, my damage so um you know and i did all this testing i think uh was it wednesday or whatever so uh those are the changes that i've been able to make um so uh what are we gonna do today well um <laughs> Let me uh, go in here. So we're going to go back to the castle we were just at. Um, we're going to clear this castle. And then we're going to go and do... There is an, uh, like a boss over here. You know what? Let's just go do that now. Let's go do this boss. Um... Provided it shows up, but uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think it needs to be nighttime in order for it to show up. But um, it's like this bird. I ran into it uh, the other day, but I ran from it because I didn't want to do the fight at that moment. Let me uh, switch up my stuff here. There it is. Okay. This shit just. Tr <laughs> I need to get close, like underneath it or something. I should have buffed before I. Uh, I didn't know when it was going to spawn, so I'll buff before I get up there. Oh, cool. It's a real pain in the ass trying to buff when an enemy is on your ass. That's why I say uh, running these buffs is probably not the best for fights. Um, you know, if an enemy is constantly attacking, you don't have any uh, opportunity to... Uh... Of course, it's not spawning. This is awesome. awesome and I can't get up that's awesome yeah I couldn't get up at all sitting there spamming my button <laughs> now at least I know where the fuck he spawns and I don't have to reset it I ran 
line up there. That's why. Okay. Ah, oh, great. to get a jump attack. Need some stamina here. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like we're about to get fucked up. I should probably put on that turtle talisman. What the fuck is he doing over there? Get over here. Oh, awesome. that motherfucker. Uh, death ritual spear. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think we picked up our runes, which was kind of stupid. <laughs> well, we only had like, I don't think we had that much anyways. But we'll go pick them up. So we're going to clear out this castle. Um, and then we're going to go and, um, backtrack because there's a, another area that I missed whenever we did Grape Lady Quest. And, uh, we're going to do that. We're going to also kind of clean up some of the quests that we still haven't done. I may even do the, uh, Varus quest. Just, you know, jump online, do the invasions, and then get off real quick. Although I don't know how long it's going to take to clear this castle. It might be a while. It might be real short. I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> kind of glad we took out those lions that were in here. discovered a whole nether area um, down where Grape Lady's quest ends. Um, again, another area that I don't know how the hell you would find uh, unless you just like accidentally like found it and that would have to be a very circumstantial accident. It's not like, oh, you know. Uh, I, I have found one I think one secret wall by accident that would probably be considered like something that most people would have to look up but there have been several uh secret passages that are like i don't know how you would be able to figure them out or find them without you know accidentally finding it or looking it up oh shit So this shield does work pretty well. 
and we're getting fucked up. Yep, we just got fucked up by a goddamn bird. But at least the shield does work on that because I heard that there's some things like piercing or whatever it doesn't work too well for. We look at the description. Yeah, no piercing attacks. So. Oh, let me change up my talismans. So, I want, uh. Yeah, we need stamina. We were having issues with stamina. We're not running the turtle shell anymore. didn't mean to buff that. That's not going to do anything. The nice thing about this buff is it only takes 9 FP to cast. So that really allowed you know, a lot more flexibility on the FP, which is why I was able to, you know, drop it. So I don't know if I'm going to run faith um, that high, uh, low level. I might, I probably will go with 15, but I don't think I'll go to 25 again. It just, it just doesn't, from software, the way they've scaled the game, it just, it's not possible. I mean, in all honesty, I don't, I don't see why it would be a big deal because a lot of the buffs that you get from that are not really like, like faith doesn't really scale high enough until you get to, you know, like, I think like 40 ish anyways. So I don't understand why they did it that way. I mean, I guess they're just trying to prevent people from having overpowered builds, but Because I've always wanted to build a hybrid build and from software, the way they design their games, it just not has not been possible. What the hell? I don't know if this, uh, let's see if this works for arrows. Okay, it does. So I can block arrows with it. Uh-oh. Awesome. That fucking archer is fucking me up. I gotta go kill that archer. He's really being fucking annoying. Alright. need to swap flasks, but I'm not going to do it right now.
the shield is, you know, as long as I'm not fighting anything with uh, piercing, it's not bad. I mean, it's 100% protection. I think it's like, what is the guard boost on this? 52. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And you get that early in the game. I had it. I just wasn't using it. Looks like there's a grace inside. Yeah. Kind of an odd place to put a grace. I need to swap my flask. I think two is good. Those things fucking respawned. Oh. Check that out real quick. Ah, oh, it's a faith weapon. Oh, that's that's a nice looking weapon. Oh shit. That's awesome. I should probably spend my runes. Fucking time from a buff to wear out yeah for 9 fp 20 extra points of uh, attack power yeah that's awesome Kill these fools out here. Fuck 
is this bird doing? smart that time. Not smart enough to miss the fucking <laughs> repost. Whoa! He had one. I should have just thrown one of my daggers. Probably where I need to like shoot that thing. Where is it? Oh no, over there. I have to shoot it from over there. I think I'm gonna need to blow a few runes. this way when I come back. Is this open? It does not. Oh, I see you, motherfucker. See you too. Yeah, you can fuck right off. Get down here, fucker. I don't know why I'm even doing this. I can just do this. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I forgot. God damn it. I don't have my. Uh... I forgot when I'm not two handed, I can't use the uh, <laughs> the frost. My mistake.
What the hell is that? Oh shit. Yeah. I'm gonna pull him back over here. Whoa! 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 Let's go, uh, let's go burn these. We need exactly 7k. Use one of those. Okay, so we need, uh, maybe one more of those. Thirty-four runes or four runes off. Awesome. Uh, we do this. Let me check my weight. Just we'll, we'll go into vigor. dicked around with this uh whip it's it's pretty nice um i found it to work pretty good with those uh little stone gargoyles so we may dick around with that a little bit more uh and you can put uh ash of war on it which is really nice Actually, I want to try something real quick. watching a guy uh, doing a speed run and one of the things I noticed he was doing is uh, he kept putting on a golden vowel and then he would switch to a different weapon 
and I didn't think that you could get the buff uh, while you're so these are my current buffs oh wait I gotta go two handed that's right okay so you do keep the buff yeah you do keep the buff I wonder how long it lasts though so you could actually do that buff they're probably going to patch that because that just doesn't seem right because you literally you could literally use that as a buff you know switch over to that weapon get the buff and then switch over the uh, question is, is how long does it last if it's 30 seconds uh, I mean that seems like it would be the most appropriate but Okay, looks like it's about 30 seconds. Um, still, not bad, because if you wanted to, like, just switch over to it, you know, get the buff. Ah, keep forgetting you need to do that. Uh, I mean, hold on. It does use quite a bit of FP, though. Oh, I still had the buff. Okay. I'll refresh it. Come over here. Uh, where's that dude at? Four runes left. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to focus on getting my vigor to uh, 60. All right, I just want to test it. I'm not going to use it right now. Yeah, I had my shield up the whole fucking time. Why am I taking damage? Oh. 
Awesome. That's fucking awesome. here. is perfect timing. four runes. Oh, no, we actually have more than that. Another thing that I've learned is this Blood Fame Blade. Uh, it's a great buff, but if you're, if you're fighting just, you know, enemies that are probably going to die in one to three hits, not worth buffing. Uh, but if it's like a, you know, big enemy and you're going to probably be fighting it for a bit, then that, at that point. And I don't know if all enemies are susceptible to bleed. Because uh, I imagine that there are some that are not. Like these things, they're they're like specters. So I don't see how they would be. Oh, shit. I don't see how they'd be susceptible to bleed. Doesn't mean they're not. I can't target this guy. That's awesome. Gotta go two handed to make sure I can use my frost. <laughs>
Get down here, dude. That's awesome. Okay, looks like we found a boss. All right, before we do this, I am going to take a bio break. Where are we at on our pots? Mm, yeah, we should be all right. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. Um. try this without mimic at first i don't really know what we're walking into but uh we'll give it a go um let's do our pot let's do that here we go uh imagine there's some whoa okay he's got ads yeah that doesn't look good That doesn't look. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do jump attacks for this. Definitely not going to need the bow, not going to need that. Uh, 
Uh, he does have a lot. He has frost. So... Let's try doing that. Do jump attacks in this. Keep that on for now. few enemies we gotta try to run past to get to the goddamn guy and I don't know how much time we're gonna have to buff awesome I can't even get in the door okay there we go Okay, get off my ass, please. Yeah, I don't feel bad about summoning Mimic when I've got ads. Fuck that. That's awesome. They killed Mimic. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked. I wonder if he resummons those ads if we kill him. Like, if we kill the ads, does he resummon them? We can try that. Like, I, I suspect that he does. Just something tells me he resummons. Ah, we need to take that off. That was kind of fucking me over.
So yeah, it's not too difficult of a fight as long as you take out the ads first. Uh, I could probably do it without Mimic, but definitely got to take out those ads first. And it didn't seem like he summoned more. Closer. Oh no, we still need 11k. I kind of wanted to set this friggin' thing down uh, just to kill the noise level of that thing. It's kind of annoying to listen to. Yeah, I think I see how to get to it. switch up my uh Is that like a shortcut from the boss? Because we were right here. I 
think it is. Oh, well, look at that. It goes all the way down. Oh, we still forgot to grab that fucking thing. Let's go see what that is, because I, I missed that. Yeah, this thing. We totally missed this. Okay, this is actually where we were trying to get to, I think. Yeah, because we want to try to see if we can set this thing down. Whoa! Ah, uh, my shield's probably not going to work here. I thought he was going to try to get a pierce on me. The hell was fucking attacking me? What the hell, dude? Get the fuck down. Nice. Assholes. What is it with all these fucking range attackers? <sighs> awesome. Whoa. Is that even necessary to like have to like it looks like you could just drop down to just head for it. Awesome. Yeah, you can spit that shit somewhere else. Oh, 
Oh, get over here, dude. Thank you from software i appreciate that I'm not putting a fucking wall there where i can't shoot through it they oftentimes put like uh blocking walls to prevent you from fucking shooting arrows through shit Motherfucker. What the hell, dude? Damn, that thing has a range on it. The AoE on it. I don't leave home without a bow. All right, where are the skulls? Oh, is that, is that what? I suspect there's a way down. painting oh I think this is um oh no it's not I thought it was a uh, was it not trellis city or sort of painting This shortcut seems to make some sense because I believe you want to go up up here in order to uh, get the mausoleum shot down.
second. My chat's not working. Let's see if I can refresh it here. doing pretty good i'll be honest with you i don't recognize the name did you change your name bianca phobia i usually try to remember names but i honestly don't remember that one okay that's fine i just kind of want to know who I'm talking to, but <laughs> if you don't want anyone to know, that's fine. Oh, it's bacon. Oh, okay. Hey, I kind of thought so, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> so how are you doing, man? Oh, by the way, um, the last time you were here, I was, uh, I just killed, uh, what's his name? The, the boss over, where is it? Over here. It was like over here. And, uh, you, you, you were talking to me and I actually was talking to you, but I had my mic muted because I had just gotten, I don't know. I, I think I got back from the restroom or something. So I wasn't ignoring you. I apologize. Uh, usually, if you notice in the bottom, where I've got like the spectrum analyzer, if you don't hear anything but you see that going, probably means my mic was muted. Uh, I'm doing good. Decided to change my name to what uh, my gamer tag is is finally. Okay. Are you cool with me still calling you Vents or Bacon? Either or. I didn't think it could be anybody that, um, cause I, cause I still have it to follower only and I've set the follower to one month. So unless somebody's like followed me recently, but like, I didn't recognize the name. I was like, uh, okay. Cause I, I like to try to remember people's names. I don't claim to be good at it. But the less people have to focus on, the easier it is. One of the advantages of being a small streamer. Yeah, but that's fine. I mean, it's still big and just spelled differently. Okay. Cool. So I was uh, coming over here trying to... Uh... I know these things have like those uh, skull herpes or whatever, and you got to like, you know, do damage to get them off, to get them to sit down. And I kind of wanted to get this thing to sit down because it, it gets to be a little annoying to listen to all the time. But I actually don't see any of them. I see white stuff, but I don't see any of that, that other crap. still working on my first playthrough, but I'm getting there. Uh, no, they're actually in different places. So there's several of these mausoleums. Let me see if I can go outside. I think I can drop here. Um, so the first few that are around the feet or the legs. Um, then there's one where you actually have to climb a tree and shoot them because the, the infection is at the top. Um, it's down in the... Let me see if I can show you on the map. It's down here in the deeper depths. And that 
uh, I think that mausoleum is around, right around there. And you have to climb these, the tree in order to get up top to get to it. And then there's a, there's a couple others like that too. But it's possible it might be like right underneath. I hadn't actually... Oh, so you were able to get on it by like jumping on it without oh okay okay there's some right there oh so hmm they kind of made it a little bit more uh Okay, so we'll be able to set it down then. I watched this guy cheese a rune bear. It was so funny. Um, so you know how I just got stepped on right there? You can actually lure like a rune bear if you if you, you don't want to fight it and you're low level. This is what this guy is doing. And he lured it over and got the damn thing to step on it and it killed it. I thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh, good idea. Yeah, there's a lot of little tricks in this game. Um, I mean, I figured some out on my own. But um, now that I'm like kind of near the end game I've been able to watch a few videos of you know people doing you know the earlier parts of the game that I've already done and just like see you know how they you know how they did things or whatever and I've learned a lot from like you can always learn a lot from other players you know some players figure things out on accident um, you know there's so much to this game to learn and doing it in one playthrough I don't think is possible I'm already at like, oh, I think he's sitting down. Okay, cool. So let me look at my hours. I'm at 186 and I still have, um, so most of all this lower map part is done. I've got to go back over here in a little bit. In fact, we're going to be doing that real soon. Um, but this area is still fresh and then there's a whole area of them here. And then there's that crumbling area, um, which is, I don't know where, oh, this area. I think this is it right here, the crumbling area, which I still haven't been able to get to. All right, I should have done this sooner because it's cool at first, but hearing it over and over again gets a bit annoying. done so I'm sure you're familiar with the jellyfish shield um, that 20% extra damage is really nice and then it also will stack um, with uh, uh, flame grant me strength so you can like pop both of those and for 30 seconds you get like you know a pretty big boost in damage um, it's good for like doing like if you have like bigger trash mobs uh, not the best for like bosses I mean you can buff obviously right for a boss but you know eventually you usually don't have time to buff uh, during a boss fight unless you have like um, you know a pet out then maybe you will boy oh okay yeah there's a so uh, let me show you real quick so it's got 52% guard boost. It's a little heavy because it's considered a great shield. It weighs eight pounds. Uh, it's got 100% physical, but um, it's one weakness, or the main weakness to it is that it doesn't protect you from piercing attacks. So like if, you know, if, if you're getting like 
stabbed by like a maybe a spear or uh, a fencer or something like that. Not really going to work too well. But there's not a whole lot of those. I mean, there are in the game for sure. But um, what you do get is this. And as long as you stay one-handed, you get that 20% uh, that attack buff. Um, so generally what you'd want to do is, you know, do the uh, flame grant me strength. Then switch over buff. But you have to stay one-handed because as soon as you go two-handed, it drops the buff. But here's an interesting thing. So, um, let me drop that for a second. Now, I think this is going to get patched. They probably haven't caught this yet. So, I've got Golden Val on this dagger right now, right? So, I don't have Golden Val. You don't see any buff for it. So, I can buff get the buff for 30 seconds and I can switch over to another weapon and stack that as well. And you still have the buff up for 30 seconds. So I think that's, I wouldn't say it's a bug. They probably just haven't caught it yet. Um, I saw a speedrunner using that with that big giant, um, the weapon you use when you fight the serpent boss and he was using it as his primary way to get through the game. And I was like, oh, so I tried it and I was like, okay, I see what he's doing. But I do think that's more of a, like I said, I don't think it's considered a bug, but I do think it's something it probably should be patched because, I mean, if you, I don't think you should be able to get buffs from items if you're no longer equipped with them, if you know what I mean. Doesn't mean I wouldn't use it, you know, if it's available in the game right now, but probably something that should be patched. was actually running um i was running 25 faith uh but it also required me to run about 26 mind in order to have enough to cast and i was running like the the health regen the golden vow um and the other two buffs but i found that the like that was 20 points 20 stat points i had to invest and it was kind of gimping my damage, even with the buffs. Like, the buffs were Boy. nice, but I was actually getting more consistent damage without the buffs. So, I got I dropped it. I think it's supposed to be like that, just cheesy and, well, it's Nash of War, right? So, maybe that's why it works. Kind of like the uh, Flames Cleanly, you can activate and then put it uh, away. But that's different. I, I know what you're saying, but that's different because the Flame Cleanse Me, it's a spell. It's not an Ash of War. See, this is an actual Ash of War. So it shouldn't remain active. Example, the Jellyfish, the, the attack power buff that I just showed you, that is an Ash of War. As soon as I put it away, or as soon as I go two-handed, it drops the buff. But this is a spell, so that's completely different. No, it's considered a skill. That's... And I see where you're going with that. And that I also thought the same thing. But here's where, um, let me show you something else. Because this got really confusing. So you see this talisman here, right? This talisman, if you, uh, let me see if I can, oh, fuck, I didn't. That right there where it says lowers FP consumed by skills so i was testing this right and i was like i was using it to cast my buffs and it wasn't working and i and so i went and looked at it and i was like oh duh only it lowers fp to consume by skills not by spells so that's when i was like okay so there is a difference i mean and there should be between skills and spells which brings me back to the point I just made and what you were just pointing out. The difference between uh, Flame Grant Me Strength is it is a spell, so it's not the same thing. But the skill from the buff from the jelly jellyfish shield is a skill. 
And uh, the only reason I caught that is because I was trying to use this to save FP and it just wasn't working for any of my spells. And I was like, well, crap. Um, and then I, you know, I read into it more. I was like, oh, so in order to really offset it, I'd have to go with something like this. Um, or if there was a another trinket or something, talisman that maybe has like a FP regen or something, which I haven't found. But um, so it's very easy to get spells and skills uh, confused or lump them together. And you can't do that. Not according to the rules that From Software has laid out for the players in this game. Because um, I fell for that. So, and I see where you went with it because I did the same thing. So you just kind of have to keep that in mind. And that's why I don't think that when you're when you're using this, uh, you know, this dagger. Well, it, it doesn't have to be this dagger. I just have this the ash, the skill applied to this, but. I should not be able to keep that buff as soon as I switch to another weapon because it's like this as soon as I switch that off I lose the buff no longer there so because it's an ash of war skill not a spell anyways I think I made my point but it's just kind of weird uh, I think that they probably just missed it um, but it's not like a huge overpowered thing because it's only 30 seconds and you know, if you're putting, if you're stacking a bunch of buffs, you want to do your longer buffs first and do the shorter buffs at the very end. So that way you get the maximization of all your, your buffs timed or whatever. Um, we'll go down this, but if it's going to go to a whole nother area, I'm going to, okay, it looks like it's going up. I was going to say, I'm going to go back to the area that I missed because I got to, I got to do a little bit of backtracking that I missed. We got the medallion. Holy crap, I not I thought we were never gonna get that fucking thing. Oh wait, it's a key item, that's right. So I, I know you're probably familiar with this. So we got the one obviously for the big lift. And then we got this medallion from uh Ronnie. Was it Ronnie? No, Melina. Um But we've been we got this piece from that that little creepy dude. That's in that little uh, earlier parts of the game. But this piece we have not like I was wondering when the fuck are we going to get this? But what I don't understand is it says that, you know, uh, it activates the grand lift of rolled. But the thing is, is this activates the grand lift of rolled. So is it kind of a backup? I mean, I don't want you to tell me, but I, you know, I'm just thinking in my mind when I because when I got this, I was like, well, I guess I don't need this anymore. But the thing is, in order to get to this area, like, I don't understand why there's two, is all I'm saying. But I imagine they'll, the only thing I can think of, boy, there's a lot of things in this game that are very confusing. So the only thing I can think of right now is the reason why there's two is this one brings you up. So maybe if I go back to the lift, maybe this takes you down. And I don't mean down to the, the area that you originally originated from, but maybe takes you to a lower level instead of going up, you know, goes down. I don't know. Um, but when I said there's a lot of things that are confusing this game, and I don't know if you would agree with this, but Whenever I would clear like an area, like, let me give you an example. Let me go pull up the map here. So I'm gonna use Stormvale Castle because that was when I first discovered this. So Stormvale Castle, it has two entrances. You can either go in through the front or you can go in through the side. Um, there's a back entrance, but you really can't access the castle that way. And there might be like a, a speed runner skip, but generally the way from software wants you to enter, it's one of two ways. But what's interesting is oh okay cool thank you I appreciate it so 
when I was, you know, transversing through this castle, there's there were several obviously shortcuts that you unlock. And I was like, I would go and I'd get to a point where I'd unlock a shortcut, and then I'd be like, I'd look at the shortcut, and generally speaking, like in all the other games, every Souls game that I've played so far, whenever you would unlock a shortcut, the shortcut made sense. It would be like, oh, yes, this is awesome. I unlocked a shortcut. This is going to cut out me having to go this way or that way, or this is going to save a lot of time. Hence the shortcut. But in this game, I've noticed that there have been a lot of shortcuts that aren't shortcuts. Some of them are. I don't want to say there's none. But I'd say almost half of them are pointless. Like, like what is the point of unlocking this shortcut? Because it's it's not a shortcut. Because you've already gotten to the area where you're at. And where it unlocks to it doesn't really make any fucking sense. Um, and that's that's happened a lot in this game. Like, I could see maybe one or two, but and then I started thinking, okay, maybe it's because there's more than one way. To skin a cat here so to speak so i started to you know i spent more time in stormville than i care to admit i mean it's all recorded anyways but but i went through there several different ways trying to understand why they did it it doesn't make any fucking sense i know that castle very well now because i spent too much time there but i was trying to understand what they were doing and they did that throughout the entire game like there's shortcuts in this game that don't make sense it's weird. <laughs> um, maybe it will later. I don't know. Um, but anyways. I think for the most part, we're done here. Like even this, for example. Well, no, not this. This, uh, this doesn't really matter. But uh, there's an elevator down here I'll show you. I wouldn't say it's terrible. I wouldn't say like, oh my god, this shouldn't be here. But it's it doesn't really make a lot of sense either. Because... So, if you kill the boss... Well, I guess if... So you can either unlock this, which I missed you know, coming through here. Uh, I didn't notice this until after I killed the boss. But this is like a shortcut. But the thing is, there's a grace, like, right down there. So I don't understand, like, why uh, why that even exists. Um, because, let me go down here. I don't know if there's a shorter grace. Uh... Like, if you wanted to do the boss right here. Let me go down this and see if there's another grace. Because usually the point of a shortcut is just that. It's a shorter path to a destination that's generally safer. So there's no grace in there. I've already been through there. Um, okay, yeah, I guess this could be considered a shortcut. But even still, it's not like... Like, this is actually longer. The only thing that this does is... Boy. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what the probably... Uh, I think that lift is more so you don't have to run past all the enemies there. So you can go back. Yes, you're right. And, uh, I, and that was about what I was about to explain. So... There aren't that many enemies you have to run past to get to the boss anyways, but the advantage is you have the luxury of being able to buff up before going into the fight. I couldn't do that because all those enemies were on my ass. I was able to do some buffs, but yeah. But so that's not the best example, but there are like others that are like, you know, like really like what's going on here. But anyways, so let me go to that secret area that I discovered. This is really cool. I think this is it here.
Okay. So I've already done this. I did the frenzy flame thing. So this is what I discovered. Now, to be fair, I did not discover this on my own. So after... After I clear an area, I'll go back and I'll watch like flaming... Uh, flaming... <laughs> Fighting cowboy, not flaming cowboy. God, that's terrible. <laughs> he's a married man. I don't think he's a flamer. Um, but anyways, um, I'll go back and watch like his video to kind of catch anything that I might have missed. And uh, he already did this part, and I, you know, I came, I, I had done this part. It's a cover up, right? <laughs> um. So I, I done all, I done all this. I got, you know, I already got past it. So I started to watch his walkthrough of this area to see if anything I missed. And this is what I missed. There's a hidden wall here. Um, it looks just like this. And obviously you just, you know, hit it. And uh, for some reason, I can't even attack in here. That's interesting. Oh, wow. They they put a protection. But anyways, um, you can, I guess you could just dodge roll into it. It unlocks this. And then there's a chest. I haven't opened it yet because I was going to do this on stream. And then there's another wall right here. So I think you can hit that. And then it unlocks this area here. So I didn't, you know, obviously I didn't want to do it uh, off stream. I wanted to save it, you know, for when I was actually on stream and playing for the recording. But that, it like... There are so many hidden areas in this game. It is, it's crazy. Um, there's another area. Exactly. I, I believe you because there's just too much shit, dude. So here's another area that you might have done this because it's part of a quest. Uh, no, not there. Okay, this one. So I don't know if this gets marked on your map or not. I never got a mark for it. Um, I was over here for, I was doing something, just clearing the area, and one of my viewers uh, told me about it, and I didn't mind, because um, he asked me, you know, hey, do you do you want to know, because you're, you're, you're near a secret area, and uh, I said, okay, let me see if I can find it, and I couldn't, so he told me, but okay, so you know this one, okay, but the way they hid that, I mean, unless you roll into it and you know, like break it. I don't know how you would even find it because I don't know if, uh, Celine or whatever, if she marks it on the map or not. Like, I don't think I would have found this and let, and I don't even, I don't even remember seeing this on fighting Cowboys playthrough. It's probably there. I probably missed it, but another like hidden area. But, uh, yeah, this place is like full of, little secret areas. There's also one in um, uh, Volcano Manor. I missed. I went ahead and already done it, but uh, she doesn't, but she tells you the general area and you gotta go. F okay. Well, I didn't know what the quest was. Like, I got in there, and I saw that I needed some sort of seal or whatever. I didn't even know it was related to her. I just, I can't remember how I figured it out. Um, I think I went back to talk to her, and and she just kept pointing me in directions, and I just kind of, you know, I was able to figure it out from there, but... Um, it wasn't too hard, like, once I got started on it, but I don't I don't think I would have figured out that cave on my own. Let me look at the map. I don't even know where I am on the map. Okay, so we're in deeper depths. And we're... This is where we came in. So I don't, yeah, we haven't, obviously we haven't been here. Boy. 
way. I I don't know if there's more than way one way to get here. Um I can only imagine if they're going to do DLC for this game what that's going to be like. I can't imagine them not doing DLC. I mean, they've done DLC for pretty much every all their game. Well, Sekiro heard they did DLC, but I don't think they added any bosses or anything, right? Because I never did DLC for Sekiro. Oh, dude, check this out, dude. I gotta show you this. This looks so fucking cool. Look at this, dude. <laughs> if that doesn't get you laid, nothing will, dude. That is fucking sick. The damage isn't great. I mean, it's okay. Um, it's good for, you know, it's situational. I found it to be very useful for um, uh, those little gargoyles, the little gargoyle imps. It's pretty good with those guys. Because it gives, um, it gives a little bit of like, it's got a longer range and it's fast enough to catch them. Shit, I think I did this wrong. I think I was supposed to go over. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back to get that. Wait, can I summon Torrent? Oh. Okay. Um. God damn, I don't like riding torrent on places like this. Like, he's all over the fucking place. He just gets all crazy. Alright, go away, torrent. Go back to the pub. the drill. Don't fuck this up. In my opinion, I think Torrent is the toughest boss in the game. He's just fucking crazy. He's all over the fucking place. I was watching the speedrunner use a torrent and this guy was jumping, doing all kinds of crazy ass jumps that would normally get me killed. And I'm sitting here thinking, what the fuck did this dude feed torrent? Cause like, if I would have made that jump, like, like they're just doing these crazy jumps. And I'm like, if that would have been me, I'd have been dead like easily.
Really? Fucking died by goddamn gravity. Like I was literally at the fucking end. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I don't, I mean, the game was great on its own. It's not like oh, it needed DLC, but, uh, and it's a little weird because it got game of the year. It did so well. You would think that they would have added DLC for it. So I guess there's a possibility that we might not get DLC with uh, Elden Ring, which is fine. There's so much content to this game, like I don't, like I'm fine if they do or not, you know, it's whatever. Oh shit. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I also heard they added, uh, like, some of the Ash of Wars uh, have also been there. Like, some of them, I think, uh, Roger, the one that I use, he came later. He wasn't even in the game. Oh, they all fell. Okay. Come on, sit fucking still. This motherfucker. Can't even target his ass.
trying to see if there's any more shinies. Oh, there's one. Golden arrow. Oh, let me talk about this for a second. So I'm sure you've done this probably more than once. So I finally killed these NPCs over here. Those three NPCs. And uh, apparently the pot that's over here. And again, you probably know this. That's not Alex. I thought it was. Um, I thought that was part of Alex's quest. But I finally killed those motherfuckers and I got like a talisman or whatever. So I... After I killed them, I was like, okay, let me go see how other people have done it. You don't even need to kill them, dude. Like, I felt like, oh my god, it was so annoying because those, those motherfuckers suck. Um, so what people are doing, they'll probably patch it, but they're coming over here and they'll summon the NPCs. They usually spawn about right there. And then they come over here to the edge and the NPCs just jump off the edge. And then you get the talisman. I was like, God damn. Of course, you know, for a first playthrough, I, you know, generally try to do everything legit, but those fuckers suck. Like, I was so pissed at that quest because the run, because you got to run all the way over every time you die. And those, those damn giants, they're just annoying. Okay, so that's where we come in. We come in from over there originally I wonder if you can jump with torrent up there I think you can. Nah, that's that's way that's way too high. Yeah, Torrent wouldn't be able to make that. So yeah, the way we came seems to be the only way. All right, now that that's done, I need to go back to. We need to go back to Stormville because apparently our first wife is there. Or she's supposed to be there. I don't know if she will be. I've been probably screwing up all these quests. She's not here. Because I believe she's supposed to be right there. Another thing we could check.
these guys are still like go away I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Lingrave. No, don't kill the NPC. Yeah, I need to get them away from the NPC. Try talking to him again. So rudely interrupted. I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. trying to figure out why she's not there. She was supposed to be over there. supposed to rest at it we have to go back okay maybe that's what happened so we warped in but we didn't rest at it that's what we did wrong There's actually two, so... There's that Grace and then the one right outside the door, but I think we're supposed to rest at that one. He's supposed to move over here. Still not here. Yeah, because we've beaten Margot. He's supposed to be in the throne room. Try passing the time. Hey, he's not here. in the time. Let's see what that does. Because according to what I'm reading here, I've done everything exactly the way I'm supposed to. And we re we've already beaten Margot. Yeah, he should be moving over here and he's not. Let me read this out loud. 
So we met him in the north end of Mistwood. We exhausted his dialogue. We liberated the fort. Uh, return him to return him for your reward. And I got that that dagger. And then you accept his his accord, which we already did that too. Um, we exhausted his dialogue at Fort Hot, which is where we just came from. We had done that prior. <clears throat> we defeated Godric, and we proceeded with. Uh, oh, I think I know why it might not be working. But anyways, uh, we defeated Godric. Uh, we proceeded with uh, Nephali's quest line. Uh, and we did not give her the potion. We gave it to the Stormhawk King. And we, uh, I believe we exhausted her dialogue. And then after that, uh, it says the next step is just defeat Margoth the Omen King, which we've done. And then travel to Godric's Grace, rest at it, and Kenneth and Nafel can be found inside the throne room but um yeah they're not here I'm reading Nafel's quest line see if I fuck that up okay you don't need to summon her for the fight for, for Godric because I thought you did um that's why I thought I fucked it up. She moved to the library. We exhausted her dialogue. We got the arsenal charm. Uh, gave, give her the Stormhawk King remains from the Chapel of Anticipation. I don't know what that is. Okay, I don't believe we've done that. Um, we have what we to, what we need to give her, but he's fucking gone. It's a key item. This thing, we have to give this to her. Let's go back over here. she's going to be in here, but we'll... Her quest line is, is fucked. We, I don't think we can do that one. go down here. She might be down here, but I'm pretty sure she's gone. Oh, there she is. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Ah, oh, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know. Wait a minute, do I have the key? Not, she's not giving me the option to give it to her. Ah, oh, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think.
trying to figure this fucking thing out. Yeah, uh, according to this, I've done everything right. Um, but she's not allowing me to give her this thing. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Will help. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed, it seemed the whelp harbored suspicions, so I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. There are four more demigods. Nicola of the Hill, his twin, Maluna Prand, Rani is so here if you should I'll trade you fine. We both desire to stand as such. Maybe now that we've done that dialogue, maybe she'll accept this thing. <clears throat> Take it. Ah, oh, you. Damn Please. It. Leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I. I need to think. Oh, we didn't get this. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I... Can no longer trust him father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. There it is. That's what we wanted to do. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. I'm not like Broderica. I don't feel the presence of spirits, let alone see them. Still, this ash, it reminds me of my first hawk. Thank you. In this ash, it reminds me of my- Okay, that's done. Now let's go talk to that asshole again over here. See if he has any more dialogue and then we'll go back to Godric the throne and see if that will finally trigger the quest I have to say this game has been a lot more forgiving 
when it comes to doing the NPC quest lines because normally if you miss just one little step it fucks the whole chain. Uh, that's why I don't generally like uh, messing with quests on a first playthrough. Um, but I've been lightly cheating on the quest lines as far as like the blind part just because this game is so long and I don't really want to I'm going to have to do this one more time. I must begin my search post haste for a true and st I must begin for a true and st Okay, he's done. He's not giving me any more dialogue, so all right, let's go back to Stormvale. So we have to warp in and then we have to rest. <clears throat> If this is done right, both of them should be over here. And they're not. What the fuck? saying go to the other one don't warp to it rest and then pop back over here and check Oh shit, I think I see him. I think I see uh Nephilim or whatever her name is. It worked! She's here! Holy shit, and so is he. Okay, we did it. Uh who do we talk to first? Let's talk to him. Ah. Nice to see you after so long. Safe and sound, I take it, yes? Good. Ah, quite. I have indeed selected a new ruler. Lady Nefeli is strong and just, worthy of the burden of Limgrave's lineage. Such is the sincere opinion of I, Kenneth Height, no less. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I plan on returning to my fort afterwards, at which time I can fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. It's been some time. I must thank you for your aid. I told father I would be with him no longer. I remembered the vow I took when I first became a warrior so many moons ago. This land is much like the one from which I hail. I will call upon the storm to drive away the foulness that has settled on the winds. Again, I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Some call me by the title of Lady, 
but I remain the same woman underneath, though I have now abandoned my former guidance. I cannot express how much you've helped me. Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Should you become Elden Lord, I would gladly lighten your burden. Let me finish talking to him. Actually, hold on. Farewell. Fel I will remain to summon the storm. But your guidance and your fight surely lie elsewhere. I will remain okay. to summon your guidance surely lie elsewhere. I actually meant to exhaust his dialogue, but she already started talking. For the time being, I share command of the castle with my lady. But I, at which time I can fulfill my raising you to the glory. I hope it is just... Okay, so he was done. Okay, cool. So what is this we just got? Oh, uh, okay. So it brings it up to a plus 25. I don't even think we're using anything with... I mean, we could take our scimitar, but I'm, I'll probably just save it. I don't, I don't think there's anything that I... Uh... Yeah, because this all requires somber. Prosthesis. Okay, so we were able to do that quest. I think we're going to go do that, um, Varus, Varus quest. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's actually one more quest that we might be able to do. just kind of like disappeared. I don't know what the fuck happened to that dude.
let's go back over here. I don't think we're going to be able to do this quest either, but we'll give it a try. We had already interacted with the sun bro over here. We had already interacted with this. He's actually supposed to be along here. I mean, we can guess we can go over there. Holy shit, I almost missed him. Dude. Ah, look who we have here. How delightful to meet a familiar face, even after departing the round table hold. I've been doing some learning of my own since then, actually, and will happily pass it along to you. than the gold mask himself. Of course, of course, I knew he would be close by. Bless the golden order and its benevolent rays. And to you too, my sincerest thanks. May the golden order shine through you. Okay, <clears throat> since we talked on there... Okay, we need to go back to... Over here. Actually, I'm 
not so sure we need to go back over here, but we'll do it. <clears throat> it says reload the area, and he's supposed to be standing over here with him on this broken bridge. So much for a blind playthrough, right? <laughs> Well, my second playthrough uh, isn't going to be much of a playthrough. I'm, I'm going to be doing all the quests and collecting like all the Ashes of War, all the spells, um, along with uh, all the talismans and everything. And I'm going to use that character as a mule character for testing and, uh, you know, and creating builds and then using that info to create a, you know, more specialized build. And then after that playthrough, then I'll be doing more what I guess I would consider more I don't know if I'd say challenge runs, but less cheese, I guess. Ah, we meet yet again. Thanks to you, I have become acquainted with the noble gold mask himself and taken my place by his side, as you can see. Have no fear. I will still teach you incantations as before, though we must do so quietly, such that we not disturb the great master's cogitation. The master is always deep in contemplation. While I frantically attempt to record his wisdom, the movement of his finger, and though I am yet to comprehend even the daintiest morsel of his wisdom, I know that this, this is my life's calling. The golden order has bestowed me, talentless as I am, the great duty of documentarian. Okay, so he's got more incantations. <clears throat> the golden order shine through you. All right. So we need to go. over here. He's supposed to move again. Yeah, he's no longer at the bridge. He's supposed to move over here somewhere. over there. I see the sun, bro, but I don't see him. Maybe he'll pop up when we get over there. Let me just run past these fools. 